How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now it's been a while but I am back with a nice little big box from a ASUS which does have some new products inside that I'm finally be going to be able to show you guys uh, because it's some new stuff that I'm pretty excited for and probably a lot of people are. There's a lot of rumors go going around, news and everything so I don't think it's going to be a massive surprise but I'm going to be able to share some with it, some with it for you guys today. So let's quickly open it up, see what's inside because it's not, it's not only one thing but there's multiple stuff. So it's first time for me as well seeing it and we can already see the ROG logo here and again it's a pretty big box. I thought it's going to be some loose items, but it's not. There's one loose item over here. And I unfortunately cannot show you guys what was in the white box. So I'm going to leave it over here and we're not going to worry about that at all. We're going to forget about that. That was even inside. So let's quickly get out the other big box inside the big box. It's heavy. I'm going to put it on its side and get it out. One hour later. There we go, nothing else inside. And then we have the nice uh, big heavy uh, boy, which does have a nice appeal uh, strip right here. So hopefully I don't mess this up. So let's see. Oh no, I'm messing it up. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Not too bad, ooh. Ooh. Oh, that looks nice. All right, so what way does it open up? All right, so this lifts off and then we have our Ryzen uh, three, uh, 360 AIO cooler, which does support the LG A1700 socket. So you guys probably all know, already know what we're going to take a look at. So we do have our cooler over there. So you guys know, you guys know what's going to happen. So let's put that out of the way and take a look at this beautiful box. I have to say, Seuss really does a good job of packaging everything and uh, making it a nice unboxing experience. So next up, we just lift this off and we see our brand new motherboard, the ROG Maximus Z690 Hero, which does, it's Windows 11 <laughs> supported, but it does feature the LGA, again, 1700 socket, PCI Express R5, and then also DDR, DDR5, DDDR5. <laughs> so, and it's heavy. So we do have that. Under here we do have, a, but wait, there's a more. Let's take a look inside. Ooh, I'm already excited. And there is our RAM, which I'll tell you guys, it is a struggle. It is a struggle to get DDDR, DDR5 memory. Nobody has. So Luckily, we did find some memory. Uh, Asus was able to actually source it because nobody else has. Literally, this is the only memory we probably have here in South Africa. Well, one of the only ones. So it's gonna be a struggle. It's, it's nice that the new platform does support a DDR5, uh, but I wonder if anybody will be able to actually have a stock at launch. So we'll, we'll see. But, ah, there's another thing over here. I didn't even see that. So this is probably just a, ooh, a little card. So are you ready for the best of the best? Get ready to be amazed by your latest Intel motherboard. The ROG Maximus Z690 Hero has landed and it's all actually written it, uh, by somebody. So that's pretty nice. Thank you for the little message. Let's see if I can put it back all nice and neat. But now anyway, for the memory that we <laughs> we got it is a micron memory but it's from asus and it is a uh, 232 gig kit of ddr5 memory running at 4800 4, megahertz and i also believe that is where ddr5 memory actually starts and it goes all the way up to like 8000 so probably be able to get more out of it if you do overclock but that's kind of where it's at. All right, now just before we get into the motherboard, 
We do have again the Raijin uh, to 360, I hope I pronounced that right, 360 a uh, uh, cool and i'm not going to focus too much on it right now you do have uh, three fans for your for your radiator and then you do have a massive block here with a lcd display that you can display some of your uh, info, uh, info on for your system so we'll see how that actually looks once we have that in the system but i'm looking forward to checking that one out as well and then we'll get into the main piece. Now for this unboxing, I'm not gonna go into all the details for the motherboard, motherboard because I am going to do a full review on it as well with um, later on once stuff uh, is here. So yeah, uh, for now, we're just gonna take a quick little look and then later on, we'll do the proper review of the board. So here it is, all a massive, all a black, all just gorgeous. And you do have some proper stuff below here as well. You do have your USB device for your BIOS uh, that you can just uh, quickly uh, update and so on. And then also I am happy to see that we do have additional PCI Express a card because again, this board does support uh, PCI, PCI Express R5 now, although I'm not exactly sure if this one does support a PCI Express R5, but it will give you additional M.2 connectors, I believe up to a two, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it's up to two. But again, we'll, in the full review, we'll take a closer look at that card as well, but it's nice and big, so if you wanted to, you can also do a raid with this card, or you can just leave it on the board. Uh, because you will have plenty of options there. Underneath here, we do have a nice little lanyard. So if you want to put that on a keychain, uh, you can. Then you do have your wireless and antenna. You do have uh, four SATA cables. You do have a RGB extension cable, another RGB extension cable. And you have a bunch of Q latch uh, uh, screws uh, which I do honestly love we'll get into that because uh, these are awesome I want to see more brands actually use those you have a little sticker there uh, you do have oh, so this is a, a GPU support all and then also you do have your RG graphics card holder which just pops up the uh, graphics card if it's kind of heavy just a support bracket uh, another M.2 attachments and then also front power and turn on switch adapter honestly no, I'm not sure what you call those but anyway so that's pretty much it what you get in a side along with the motherboard let's put everything back all right now as for the board we're just going to do a quick little glance over and uh, talk about some of the new features and some of the features that I honestly do like because you do get some new ones uh, that I haven't really seen on some of the other boards or that's pretty much just a Asus kind of doing them um, and again full review and everything will be posted uh, later on once we have this little sucker right here <laughs> um, now also uh, the board and pricing I'm not sure how much that's going to be it's probably going to be pretty much up there because this is a uh, very high-end board as well but you're going to get everything that you need so we going over some of the stuff again this is a new lga 1700 socket you're not going to be able to use any 10th or 11th gen cpus on the board you are going to have to go to the 12th uh, 12th gen elder lake cpus uh, which does look to be a kind of new design towards actually a cpus where you get uh, performance cores and then efficient cores so it's going to be a mix of everything and we'll see how that actually manages again because it's going to be new power delivery and all of that needed to handle of that so it's efficient uh, but we'll see how that actually performs but i'm looking forward to it because we've heard really good things for the new 12th generation cpus and it's time for intel to really get back into into the game 
So I'm really looking forward to seeing how they actually perform. But of course, that's not all. You do have the brand new, well, new on mainstream <laughs> parts. You do have the DDR5 memory slots up here. Again, we talked about it. We do have our memory here. These are at, at 16, I guess, uh, 16 gig sticks, uh, four of them. So we're gonna go all the way up uh, to 64 gigs, if I'm average right. Um, but it can go up to 128 gigs. And then again, the speed starting at around, uh, what was it, 4,800 megahertz and going all the way up to 8,000 megahertz, of course, with an XMP over a clock applied. And you'll probably be able to push it further than that as well uh, if you're a pro, which I'm not. Then next up, of course, we do have a PCI Express 5 now as well, which you're not going to see on all of uh, these uh, PCI Express slots. I do believe it's only uh, the uh, top one and a possibly, yeah, possibly also the uh, the middle one here as well, which uh, the bottom one is only going to be for expansion cards like a, a capture card, so on. So you do have that. So if you wanted to slide your 3090s, you can do it. I can't remember if you can slide a 3080. Nope. But there are options if you want to do that or uh, if you want to get uh, some additional uh, faster M.2 expansion cars, like again, the one we have here. I'm not again sure if that's going to be PCI Express, oh, Express 5. So we'll, we'll get into that. And then also you do have three M.2 slots down here, one here, one here, and then also one down here. But again, you can, of course, add additional ones with the uh, expansion a card, the M.2 card there. Now, the nice thing about these cards, I'll, I'll just quickly show you guys as well, is that they do actually feature ASUS's uh, Q latch design, if I believe, Q latch, yeah. Uh, which, instead of you needing a screw to screw in your M.2, it's pretty much just a little knob that you twist around and that just secures your M.2 in place, which is, I'm not sure why it, nobody else has done it before because it's just brilliant. It makes your life so much easier. So great job ASUS. I did see it on their previous Z590 boards as well, but I'm glad to see that we're going to see it here as well. But something that is really new that, well, that I've seen, that I'm seeing for the first time is that you do actually get a quick release button here for your top PCI Express a card slot. So, you know, it's sometimes annoying where you do, when you need to take out your card in your case and try to get your finger underneath the, uh, the back plate of your GPU and sometimes they're just way too thick. You can't get your finger and then you need to get like a, a screwdriver or something and potentially damaging your board. Well, that's the thing of the past, at least for the top slot because you do have this little button right here, which actually pops uh, open your top uh, piece of express slot, which is just a genius, <laughs> genius uh, uh, feature as well. So, and if, of course, if you do put in your GPU back, it's going to lock into place, but just like that, and it's a loose. Now, something that you might have noticed is that you do get an additional power connector right here, and that doesn't supply an additional power for your PCI Express slots. We have seen that, that, but it's not really what's happening here. So you do have your dual eight pins here, your multiple power, and then this one actually connects to the USB type C front uh, header up, well, just below it, and that actually supplies additional power for a quicker charging for a plus. So you can actually, uh, depending on your case, you can hook, uh, connect that and it's going to supply quick charging plus up to 60 watts of fast charging for your case or possibly another device uh, and you'll be able to charge your devices like super super quick so that's really awesome to see it's not of course really needed always but it's a nice uh, feature to have especially if your case does have it and uh, apparently some of the new cases are going to feature those and some is going to have uh, additional upgrade kits or like a DIY solutions for that. So you do have a nice uh, additional feature right there. On the side, just going to run out, uh, you do have your six uh, SATA ports. You do have a plenty of a USB 3.2, probably Gen 2 headers uh, down there. Uh, you have a plenty of uh, fan connectors. You have a four right up uh, there. You do have another one one, five, six, seven, eight, uh, around uh, there. And then you have a bunch of different connectors. You have your RGB and also your start button and also your flex key uh, button right uh, there. And possibly some of your postcodes, your reset uh, button, oh, and then your postcode here and then your post LEDs uh, also right there. 
Now quickly running it off with our IO at the back, you don't have anything at the back. But anyway, for our IO, you do have your BIOS flashback button, your clear CMOS button, the HDMI port, and then also three USB type C ports with these atop to actually being Thunderbolt 4. So if you want to uh, run a Thunderbolt device through that, you can. And then also uh, you can run the displays out of those as well. It sounds a bit uh, tricky which devices actually works, uh, but you will need to have a uh, integrated um, graphics uh, CPU, so a non-KF uh, CPU, a uh, normal one or a KCPU. Now along with that, you do have just normal two uh, USB 2.0 ports, but uh, this one is going to be for your BIOS uh, flashback. And then also you do have your 2.5 gigabit ethernet port and an additional six uh, USB 3.2 Gen 1, uh, yeah, Gen 1 USB is right here at 10 uh, gigabits a second. So you do have plenty of that. You get your Wi-Fi 6E and then also, of course, all of your I, um, audio connectors right there. All right, and then just uh, finally, of course, you do have all of your RGB headers on the sides. And then I'm not sure if this is also RGB, but I know you do have a layered pixelated, not like pixelated, pixelated, but a, a pixeled uh, display here, which is more of a retro style. Um, so you're going to be able to adjust all of your RGB and everything through that. And that is pretty much it for our quick little look at our overview of the new Maximus Euro Z690 board from ASUS. Again, full review will come later on once we have this little bad boy right here. Um, and then, yeah, you'll be able to see and get the board for yourself. But anyway, a big shout out to ASUS of Africa sending everything over for our video and also later on in the review. If you guys want to get it for yourself, um, it probably won't be linked in the video description because it's not out yet, but once it is, I will add it uh, down there if I don't forget. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always, and I will check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.